Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh, yeah. That's it. Welcome back to the Jenny McCarthy Show. God, I'm up on the job. Oh, and these two boys I've known for so long. I know so much. And they're one of my favorites. I've got a few. I've got a handful of my favorites. Some are on my shit list. Some are on the good ones. <laughs> these are the good ones. Max Val. Hi, guys. Oh, how uh, I'm glad that we didn't make the shit list. I, nah. I kind of wanted to make the naughty list. I, I did. I, 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 I quickly realized in, in L.A. with, you know, emergence of Sirius XM that you don't want to make shit lists with anyone who can talk well on TV because then they'll have the podcast and then they can be uh-huh. unlimitedly talking about you. So, yes, yeah, so you want to be shitty to the people that have zero talent. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> How are Hi you? Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> Good. That's a, a, great. Congratulations on this wonderful tour that you're doing, Max Val and Peta Confidential. Tour dates and tickets, maxandvaltour.com. This is huge. Is this your first time embarking on this all together? Uh, well, is my, that a threesome? My, my, ma- <laughs> Not a first three song, but what kind of show is this? It's that kind of I, show. I, I got to know my audience. Um, no, uh, the, the the two of us actually went on, on tour a year and a half ago. Uh, we did a 45-city tour called Our Way, and it was a you know biographically driven show, dance show still, but spoken word, and, and, and we had a lot to say. And this time... You know, his family has grown. Our family has grown. I'm, I'm an uncle now. He's Aww. a father. My family is your family, bro. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I mean, group. it's grown. It is. So confidential are... is is kind of like the expansion of that that story. Is the baby going to be on tour also? Yes. I would imagine. Yes, yes, yes. And then, and you know, if there was ever, and 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 my nephew too. It was ever, I'll have it was the big <laughs> baby and his. <laughs> if there was ever a debate. Ah, I yeah, see. No I way. see what you did there. It was a mess. I see what you did there. <laughs> okay. Uh, if there was ever a debate about taking a baby on tour, that that there's no debate now. I I, I flew out. This is the first time I kind of like you know n- not have him near for what is it now going to be a couple of days, four or five days, and I and the you miss you miss your child right in a way that you've never missed anything before, and and uh-huh. it's crazy, and I get it now. So. Not even me. You, you know, I can't, like you know, you maybe before there was there was a, there was a child maybe. I mean, who call who's in charge? Who calls the shots here? Uh, you do. It's your show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on tour, on the thing. Is it is it the older? Is it the older brother or is it the? I mean, I respect my elders definitely, but okay. uh, I, yeah, I think we mutually call the shots. Yeah. No. About. Ten years ago, people started asking me which one's older, so that's when it kind of stopped. You know, there's no more. I get it. There's so, when that. did you guys realize? Wow, you know what? I want to get into dancing, this type of dancing. Uh, I mean, I only recently forgave our parents for that decision I they still made. Haven't. I still have. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was his fault. You know, our our folks put him into an after school activity that taught young boys, you know, how to be chivalrous, and 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 a dance lesson was one of the curriculum. Hence. <laughs> exactly. He failed. He fa- failed that after school. And activity. your polite, um, c- the way you take critical, I mean, um, criticism so so lightly. <laughs> that wasn't the in the shows. lesson. That was not. No, I missed those. <laughs> but yeah, we just got into ballroom dance. Uh, we never really pursued it in a way that we thought would, you know, translate into a, a forty-five city nationwide tour or or a hit show in Hollywood. Uh, we just kind of did it because our made our parents happy and it gave us a chance to put on a suit when you know otherwise we never would have dressed up that way. Can I ask you guys a real honest question? And you know I was around for all the kind of you know younger sexy time days that we all I have my little after parties at my house. But <laughs> how how do you? Because now I live outside the bubble. I live in like rural like Illinois, like there's corn next to me outside my window. So how do, now when I watch the show from this perspective, I go, oh my God, these women are naked and they're (laughs) gyrating. It's funny how my perspective has changed so much. I still, of course, love to watch it, but as a woman that is now married and so in love, I would be very insecure about having my husband go on the show and have these gorgeous women gyrate on the men how explain to me what a man that is not in the business you guys are 
what do you think that they experience? Do they get boners? Do they get turned on? <laughs> you mean the the the, the dense? Uh, the the star. Oh, you mean the star, the celebrity men that join yes, the show and they have correct, this. Correct. That are not used women. to this. Are you asking because your husband's getting asked to be on the show? No, is that, is we've that been asked every single fucking I'm year. Just, oh, so I'm you're asking, considering like, and you go, well, maybe. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. it's hard. It's hard for sure. <laughs> That's what I, I want to know. Because out of a human reaction, I want to know. Because I think every woman that watched the no, show. No, the boner, goes, I meant. My husband, yeah. right. Uh, <laughs> no, my husband's never going on that show. You know, like. I think, what? I think, I think, I, okay. So I think that, first of all, the understanding that we all, we are professionals. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we do. You know that that's what we do. You know us close enough to understand that. To us, to me, a rumba is a rumba. You know, and it has to be romantic. It has to be presented a certain way. And. Um, whatever goes into making it so on a dance from a dance perspective um, we because we dance our entire life and we're in this close proximity our entire life you know for me there's no like I can put my hand on the small of a woman's back and, and that would mean that I'm about to lead her and you know she would get this shivers and stuff so uh, that's what not, you're that's saying not is my... that you know from the outside the physicality of, of dance and the aesthetic of it especially what you see on the show might might feel you know a little like it's crossing boundaries but in 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 our world we we're, we're you know completely yeah this disconnect this the disconnect i'm i'm doing my job that i'm doing my best is, yeah, yeah we're just trying to create beautiful movement and 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 have a incredible moment for for our celebrity when it comes to the show but but you're right i mean it's it's not something that you can get used to it's 20 years around uh, right. You know, in such close proximity, I, I, f I forget about space, personal space as well. I, right. I, you and, <laughs> and you know, in acting, they, there one there was one actress that says you have to find the one percent truth of like falling in love with your co-star because yeah. you know you want to be authentic and and feel that feeling. So I would imagine when you're doing the room, like you have to find that sexual energy no matter what your partner looks like. Correct? Well, I mean, in the same acting, they yeah. also call say you know call for substitution. So you know, you imagine for that one percent that that person isn't that person and that kind of makes it psychologically back to where we at is that you know if I'm imagining my loved one you know my loved one the the true love that I have mm. and it's you know uh, the you for example and and I'm your husband and I'm dancing with somebody else that's that's where I draw it from if that's where I draw it from but then you know the problem is that we again we were taught that this is a two people acting as one and and in that sense you can't you can you can tell you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a dance that that the spouse will appreciate and the judges won't you know so it's like <laughs> to le true. lesser evil kind of thing and i mean it is amazing that um you know val i know that you were you know quite a singles man and you scored to me like the hottest chick in the group score. i mean score does it make um you jealous at all brother who me yeah, I I scored the hottest chick in the universe. You see that right here? <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, I I'm sorry. I meant you, Pete. I meant me being married to Peter. Yes, yeah. That's I what I'm talking about. Oh, Peter oh yeah, cool. Me. Yeah, no, yeah, Peter. But and I don't, I'm I'm gonna I'm reiterate that I think I got the hottest chick in the game wearing my chains. Yeah. And that's do they exactly ever get why. jealous? Peter's a dancer. Thank God she understands things. So you know, probably not. But uh, probably but not, Jenny. Probably you not. know that the answer is I know. Right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, but, but it's natural, and I'd love. I, you, you know, as crazy as that may sound, and and as crazy as they it drives you, I I, I think that's the healthy reaction that I'd always want from my yeah. significant other. True. I I would want them to be upset about that because I would feel the same way. But it's a balance and communicating, and you know, it, it takes work. What is the most wonderful thing about being married? Oh, um, I don't know, man. I love it. I really do. What's the best thing for me is I think, you know, just finally understanding that you found your partner, you found someone, you know, partner in crime, whatever, your best friend, things of that nature. And, and it's true, you know, when you, if, if it is the right type of relationship and you are for one another, how I think Peter and I are passionately were made to be together. You know, and 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 we unfortunately are the same exact person in a lot of instances. <laughs> we're 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 super hard headed. We, you know, we we don't kind of like give up our ground easily. But again, in those fights, we fight for each other. We um, there's never a moment in where you don't love her, and or I don't love her. I'm not 
passionately in love with her. It's uh, I can walk away and be furious, but I'm not furious because of how affectionate I am with her. And so, it's I think you also craziness. you're building together. You know, it's like a sandcastle. You, you could build a bigger sandcastle with with four hands than than with two. And you know, you still have your areas that are yours, and you could be proud that you were the sole builder of that. Until but you have a child, and then you have zero area. <laughs> <laughs> you but yeah, you build together, and that's I think that's awesome. It is awesome. And what about having a child? How has that changed you? It's it's crazy. I, I can't. I'm not. I, I think, you know, he turned 11 months yesterday, and, and, and I don't think it's it's enough time for me to understand. Right now I'm just going through these, like, crazy things in my head that are just instincts, new to me. And, like bodily and, instincts, too. Yeah, but we've, you know, again, I think also because of the way our parents were and how they kept Val and I super close and, and sort of brainwashed us into loving each other unconditionally. For sure. <laughs> I feel like I had no I choice but to already be that kind of father figure at one point or another, going through the immigration process and all this stuff. So, you know, I kind of tried on him some things, um, failed a lot, and now I know what not to do with my son. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't shut the door on his pinky. Oh, come on, bro. You <laughs> became a violinist after that, so obviously it's not... <laughs> I didn't. I didn't damage too much, but yeah, he remembers that story. What is the worst thing that's happened between you guys? Something like that, but even better. That is the worst oh, thing. No, that no, no, no. That I think. I think I, there's another one. Yes, thank uh, you. So I, speaking of violin, I, I played violin and uh, I had to rehearse one hour a day every day since I was like five, uh, and and I had to play scales and I was like seven years old and my mom was like, all right, you give me an hour of scales and then you could go play. So I finished practice. I. I, th- I Put my violin no, on you the said couch. the first word that you wanted to say. You threw the violin. I put the, the violin on the couch and I and I bounced outside and I just hear outside uh, my mom screaming, him screaming. I'm sorry. And anyway, so he was a bookworm, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Uh, I, I believe, believe it. it. I believe it. Thanks, okay. Jenny. All right, all right. <laughs> and so he was reading and he sat on my violin and shattered it. And violin. What? Yeah, and if you don't know, they're very expensive. Ass whooping. And I didn't oh get to practice for a God. week, so it was and awesome. And I didn't even do anything. I was just trying to be smart and read. Oh. Anyway, but I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know what he's referring to. I think he's referring to this being the best thing that happened to him. Oh yeah, he, yeah. He didn't want to practice. It was one of those like, and then, then, okay, mom, I'm done. It was a blessing in disguise, is what right. you're saying. Yeah. Um. So, so then, did you not continue after that? You were no, done? I did. I did. They <laughs> bought me a violin like a week later. You went on so, can too. you still play violin? Yeah. No, you yeah. play it during this tour. I, yeah, we have a piece in, in in the show where I play the violin as well. I mean, it's not as you know straightforward like now I play the violin, but it, it's integrated and it's beautiful. But that would be hot to have a violinist play during a hot dance. Yeah, that's, I would that's totally what we do. turn on. We'll I do mean, an Argentine tango where I'll I'll play the violin and and Peter and him will dance. Hot violinist doing a hot <laughs> dance. Sexy and a yeah. speedo. And a speedo. And a sp- uh, <laughs> no, we did we did speedo before. It's might it's, be distracting. Are it's, you are either of you guys coming back to Dancing with the Stars next year? Uh, I, you know, I would love to, I mean, I, I would love to be back as, 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 as much as they ask me back. How do they know when to cycle them out? I mean, it's been on for so long. There's the usual constant winners, you guys, <sighs> and, you know, and then there's the new blood. I see those young 18 year olds coming up and I'm like, damn, Cheryl Burke shitting in her pants. <laughs> so like, who do, they, how do they know when to turn, turn, do a turnover, you know? <coughs> I, I think it's important for the show to stay on TV. I really do. You know, not for just for our industry. But is that by bringing back favorites or I bringing think it's new by, blood in? By just by figuring it out. I mean, look, things have changed. We, you know, we used to we used to heavily depend on these big apparatuses to take beautiful pictures. Now we just snap it with a finger, and there's not even a button. So, you know, I think things things have changed. We uh, we adjusted the show's format to accommodate people like Jordan Fisher. You know, and and winning the show. You know? I, I and, think. Look, the cast I, is going to change for. Hold on, but I think, I think, I think that where this is going is is going through changes and is going through changes with the times. And and I think what I'm proud of f- on behalf of the show is that it was able to sustain itself to 25 seasons. You yeah, know? and the it cast will amazing. always change, but the essence of the show, which is you know getting together with your entire family and be able to watch something that three generations can enjoy. Uh, I think that should, you know, that's very valuable for all. Absolutely, of us. it will it will be in that um, television hall of fame, no doubt. Um, did you guys um, ever take the criticism seriously? Did it actually affect you? No, it's crazy because <laughs> what no. I have I really have never and 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 he has. 
you for so long and it's has? crazy yeah i mean how, how some has of his you highlights have on never, the show you have never never felt like you know what answering back and you have and uh, oh i have ju- just oh, uh, I you know i had a compilation to play right <laughs> So good. <laughs> it's mostly on behalf of my partner, though. You know, I'm, th- there's such a strong camaraderie, at least in the way we approach it. It's not just art; it's it's team. You know, and so uh, when they're out there and the criticism doesn't really validate, you know, seven days of hard ass work that they put into it, uh, I get offended as a coach mostly. But but as a you know as somebody getting feedback from judges, I don't really take it personally. We also grew up being judged. That's our profession. That's what we ah. do. We come from competitive ballroom dancing. We have judges. We have numbers on our back, and we're being told, "You are worse than three <laughs> other people in front of you," <laughs> and this is why. But um, you know, I answered back a couple of times. My my tiff was not because of the criticism. It was because I felt like there was lack of effort put into criticism. Lack because of because you're not consistent. Well. But also, not what you're saying has to lead to a conclusion that I can take and then apply next week. Constructive criticism. Call it whatever you words. want, yeah. But like calling yes, somebody yeah. out and yes. call them a penguin, it's not something that you can fix. It's just something that you know. Exactly. Do you think the judges um, sometimes made up their own based on a storyline to keep people in or keep the audience um, guessing? Because sometimes you know they were obviously not very fair with some of the scores. So you're like. I mean, the New York Knicks are finally winning some basketball winning games. Winning some <laughs> games. Some <laughs> games. At least one game. Right. I they mean, do have a unicorn, there, but, you know, it's I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at the judges are not heavily <laughs> produced for their answers. So what about the, um, you know, anybody else that you want to take on tour? Will there be any surprise oldie but goodies, you know? We, we try. We, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, we would love. I mean, along the way, we, we the most proud, um, I, I think, what we're most proud of is we, we never set out for Hollywood, I mean, ever. And so landing there because of this incredible show. Uh, but we're most proud of the friendships that we built, you know. I mean, seeing JoJo on set, I'm like, that's a homie and I know your sister. My sister. Five years before, you know, your sister ever had me on her podcast. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's it's more about <laughs> friendships. And along the way, we've made friends with some incredible, talented people. Forget fame. That's secondary. Talented people, great people. And so along the way, you know, Zendaya stopped by on our last tour. You know, we'll have Rumor Willis, I'm sure, stop by. I uh, love that. And Laurie Hernandez. But, but all walks of life. And, you know, our, our tour is going to include a cast that's diverse, you know, every walk of life that's incredible. Some of the best dancers in the world that, you know, we, we say the first thing we said to them last time is that there are no backup dancers here. We're, we're a cast and, and we're so grateful that you embrace our story. Uh, and so I think most importantly, we edit PETA this time around. And uh, she was part of the last, last tour that we did. She was in the back of the bus, super pregnant, Aww. flip-flops and a ponytail. Love her. Um, but now... She somehow is got front and center, front and center, ripped, ripped stomach and, and a gorgeous baby. So, you know, we, we're going to have an amazing time. You know, she's definitely an incredible addition to us and sort of kind of like, you know, a rose no, between two thorns. I've always loved Peta. I'm like, when I saw that happen, I went, you know what? That makes total sense. You know, when you see couples together, I went bingo and what? congrats because she was so hot. I was like, damn, I do her. Yeah, <sighs> I did. Max said the same. I did the same thing. <laughs> I mean, let's look at some of these people you've had. You had Debbie Mazar, you had Kirstie Alley, you had Hope Solo. Which one of you had Hope Solo? Same guy who had Debbie Mazar. <laughs> and, and the thing about Hope Solo Kirstie is that he, you know, he thrust that upon himself. I did my best. I did my best. She, when they were playing in the World Cup that summer, he tweeted. She's tough. I, yeah. I shouldn't have tweeted. I yeah. shouldn't have watched it. There was nothing else to watch that <laughs> summer. The only thing that was happening was women's soccer. And what I, did I you watched tweet? It. I, they lost to Japan, and I was like, hey, Hope Solo, you know, the more about this, let's get on Dancing with the Stars, win you another trophy. Bang. And be careful what you wish for. Wow. That's insane. Yeah. Did you guys actually win the trophy? I missed that one. No, we didn't. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. No. <laughs> he <laughs> tried. He I won tried. the trophy that season for the most... The the most <laughs> ridiculous thing ever, <laughs> uh, you know, said back to the judges on live television. Ever. You know Which that was that what? was that was a there was a period of time in my he life. He told Len to quit. I did. Told Carrie Ann oh to simmer down now. Simmer down now. It's my show. <laughs> oh man, it's my he, show. He went off. 
It was amazing. It made like the Dow Jones like you know ticker. Yeah, the next, the yeah, next I day, mean, the CNN news. Cooper was reporting news, and like it was like a massive it hurricane. Was insane. But Max, I want to know what happened behind stage in those trailers. Oh, backstage. but that's the beauty is that it's exactly what's happening. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm not that behind the scenes type of person. You know that. Yep. So you know what happened in the front was exactly what was on my mind. What's on my <laughs> In, in 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 my words and uh you know my problem is at that time i wasn't really yet uh trained to think and speak in sound bites and so right. you know i had this train of thought that didn't last one five big seconds. run on sentence yeah exactly i had one huge run on sentence and and it was like hey so first of all this is my show and then that was cut and i was like but i, I had this entire <sighs> thing to say afterwards i should have thought it through but it you know yeah that's called the inner voice and the outer voice right. you have to learn sometimes <laughs> you just have which... one one voice but the inner voice is always the most effective somehow it know? is true except you know what it is you, you have to find the space between mm -hmm. and i've had, i've learned um the hard way and i've also learned that sometimes it's beneficial because it makes me who i am today that's why i'm not serious because right. i don't have that filter right and that's but why when we standing in in the blue room you know and we bump into michael rapaport and then we walk by talib kwali like i'm in heaven you know right this next is to in hollywood next to howard stern yeah, as we're walking room. into jane mccarthy's show i mean that's that's it's yeah beautiful. that's 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 it's fun times we, we, we made it <laughs> who's the one star my last question who's the one star that you wish you could still dance with on your wish I'm list. dancing with him on on this tour confidential this this spring yeah, but there's, I mean, there's, there's, there's got to be one person you're like oh, you know what I'd love to do the with her you know I never I never looked at the show like oh I wish I danced with them I, I looked at the show I wish I danced every show every season with someone who wished they danced with me and wanted to do the show because uh -huh. that would be the you know it's not selfish it's more like that's I the can biggest compliment my, you could get i can be my best in this in this particular case you know and uh unfortunately and and you know that that some of the stars that join the show join it for different reasons and and not necessarily right. for for dance improvement reasons exactly. and, and then it becomes com difficult for us to do our best because my only job on Dancing with the Stars, only job is to get you ready for Monday night. So I would love to dance with Rihanna. Honestly. Oh, that's <laughs> but, a good one. Yeah, just because she's got great, great style and, and she's oh super my, cool. And she's hot, but she and also she, but can she move? She could move in a certain way, but I, I would want to see her move in an Argentine tango way. Ooh, you're right. And, and you know what, you guys, after kind of dancing with you guys for fun, um, you don't even have to know how to dance. You literally move the body around that. And she, she could use, you know, a little bit of that. She can use some tips. Also, from just amazing leaders. You know, that's that's another thing. You know, if you're talking to a female professional, they have different difficulties. Our difficulty is not really to, you know, lead and move our partner around. You right. know, the difficulty is to make them you know in 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 that sense the female celebrities are always compared up against almost like female pros and that's not fair whereas male celebrities are oh my god and, he's cute and he's right, shaking and, his and, booty and that's and that's the cool. metaphor is you know you, you the, the female is in ballroom dancing the essence of ballroom dancing is the female is the artwork and and the male is the frame and the frame should also be elaborate and beautiful but but the sole purpose is to present the artwork and the artwork is the female and some of the male celebrities, their partnership looks like a thumbtack picture on the wall with corners hanging out. So zero frame. I'm just saying. I yeah. figured out Inner that voice. analogy somehow. <laughs> but I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I went, I think I understood that. I got that. it. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text you, the, the, you know, just to make sure. You guys are so funny. I, last question, because I know this. I know the sexual heat that happens within this show. Um, also, the, with the after parties at my house. And with all these sexual allegations, is it? are you going to be more um, uh, on edge to be no, backstage no, there because, now? No, because, because the, those are just creepy-ass old men, you know? And, and, and young intent, men and whatever counts. men, you know, but... It's it's like when I had Zendaya as a partner, she was 16 years old at the time, and, and the whole conversation was, I was just coming off of a season with Kelly Monaco, and we had a very, you know, I, I guess sexually driven, whatever you want to call it, that type of season, uh, and people were like, oh my God, he's got a 16 year old. 
it was only creepy to people that look at things like that. For me, I'm I'm a, I'm a teacher first and foremost, and right. I've trained, you know, young athletes my whole life, and I've mentored kids till this day, and I go and speak at schools, and I'm passionate about bettering, you know, tomorrow's uh, youth and 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 you know the future of this country. But that's you and your nice human soul. What about the creepoid factor of seeing women half dressed? We vet that out. We, we you know, we. <laughs> This is our show, you know, and, you know, we're the alpha males on that show. And when you come and visit and and you have the pleasure and the honor to dance with some of our female professionals, uh, you know, we make sure that they're they're well taken care of. And any piece of shit guy is always, you know, So like big brothers to them? And and we had had few run-ins. You know, oh, backstage, for sure. and and we would we would hear things, walk in, and say that's not allowed. You know, you can't do that. Well, you're, had, you're a celebrity situation. until, you know, until <laughs> until it re- the realization is that you know we are here to provide the platform for your celebrity to continue to grow. So I think that there's a there's a clear by our clear, rules. clear tra- right. you know trade off. You know, let's let's all be let's all do the right thing and you know and 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 put on the show. I think where I've made my peace with the show and the way it is is when uh, the realization is that everybody's on the same team and so we're putting on a show every monday it's like curtain up and the show's happening and so when curtain goes down we go back to kind of put it, put together a new show for next monday so that was my perspective the last couple of seasons and everything was much smoother much chiller and but it's and a I, culture really you know it. we create a culture on our show that doesn't really promote that and all those scenarios I, I guess the culture was driven by the individual there's no individual on our show it's a set it's a family you know and obviously and I, and I love that you guys were the big brothers well said both of you I'm so proud of you both come back and promote whatever the hell you want you've got a friend in <laughs> Max me com. <laughs> buy tickets ticket master sales on inner now. voice inner, inner voice, voice. Boom, <laughs> he just did Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much love, you guys. Check out their tour. I promise you guys it'll be worth it. We'll be right back. Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh!